The unconventional approaches to designing modern electric bikes don't always get approval from the majority of riders, but those who are brave enough to switch to electric two-wheelers are very likely to receive a lot of attention on the road. The Vinci e-bike is a representative of the class of personal mobility vehicles that boast a design with both retro and futuristic elements. This personal mobility vehicle is based on a tubular aluminum frame that neatly incorporates a 2300 lumen LED light in the front and an 800 lumen light in the rear. The frame also incorporates a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery pack. This unit can power a 750 watt electric motor for about 35 miles. If you decide to use the bike's pedal assist system, the range estimations would increase to about 50 miles. In order to ensure the bike's smooth operation at speeds reaching 35 miles per hour, the creators of the Vinci bike equipped it with front and rear suspension, hydraulic disc brakes, and 20-inch wheels with 4-inch fat tires. If the company manages to find the required funding to start the production, the first Vinci bikes will be shipped to Lucky Riders in the spring of 2022. Super Monkey is an upcoming electric bike that is bound to attract lots of attention on the road, primarily due to its striking retro design. Every unit of this e-bike model is assembled in the UK. The production process starts with an aluminum frame and a rear hub motor. The motor installed on the entry-level models has an output rated at 250 watts. There are five levels of electric pedal assist that can be used to electrify your ride. In the pedal assist mode, the moped style bike can provide up to 40 miles of riding in the most favorable weather conditions. However, the real world range is said to be around 25 miles. Every person that considers buying the Super Monkey e-bike will be treated to a variety of customization options. The list of possible upgrades includes a more powerful 750 watt electric motor, a black suspension fork, mud guards, head and tail lights, a rear rack, and a thumb throttle feature. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you took a cafe racer style motorbike, replaced a regular motor with an electric one, added pedals, but kept the robust components in the suspension and brakes? If you were to create such a build, you would very likely get something very close to the Cavett e-bike. Boasting highly competitive specifications, namely an inverted air suspension fork, a 1000 watt e-motor, a waterproof smart color LCD display, and a 960 watt hour swappable battery, Cavett is one of the coolest introductions to the electric mobility landscape. This two-wheeler can be regarded as an excellent option for those who need to commute in style. This model would be perfect for getting around the city as its top speed is said to reach 28 miles per hour, while the overall riding range can reach 70 miles. This beauty is available in four colors, space black, Mars yellow, Aurora blue, and cloud white, and will be sold at a competitive price. The creators of the Zip wanted to create a model that offers a package similar to that of other electric mopeds with pedals but with a more affordable price tag. Just like the competitors in this class, Zip has a design inspired by classic mopeds. A responsive suspension, a comfortable padded seat, fat tires with substantial treads, and a powerful 500 watt electric motor. This very motor is juiced by a 46.8 volt, 10 amp hour battery that's good for 37 miles of electrified riding. The remaining battery charge, estimated range, and other useful information could be looked up on the bike's LCD control display. When the battery charges run out, you can top it up in about six hours. Once fully charged, you can get back on the road and enjoy pedal-free riding at speeds close to 20 miles per hour.
While engineers at Zoo's Bikes started to develop their latest electric bike model, the Urban Ultralight, they had a clear vision of their target audience. The model was designed with an emphasis on city riders that seek a stylish looking vehicle with thrilling performance parameters. Their creation could be briefly described as a simple, well-balanced e-bike that will attract a lot of nostalgia-stricken BMX riders of the past. The bike is available in three modifications, the Urban Ultralight 250, the Urban Ultralight 750, and the Urban Ultralight 1100. Their major difference is the power output of the installed electric motor. All of the modifications come with, with the 4130 Cromley steel frames, long bench seats that can accommodate a rider and a passenger, hydraulic disc brakes, and wheels up to 26 inches in diameter. The entry-level Ultralight 250 model offers an estimate riding range of 25 miles at speeds not exceeding 16 miles per hour. The Ultralight 750 model offers an increased top speed of 20 miles per hour and the rider carrying capabilities of up to 230 pounds. Finally, the top-of-the-line performance model can reach the speed of 27 miles per hour and can last for 33 miles of riding. For the past decade, the products by Aerial Rider have been hitting a sweet spot between affordability and performance. Their latest Scrambler-style electric two-wheeler received top-of-the-line technical specifications and riding capabilities worthy of the Grizzly nameplate. The e-bike puts to use a set combination of two electric hub motors with nearly two kilowatts of peak output. The bike's battery capacity is large enough to let the riders experience the exhilarating riding dynamics for up to 75 miles between charges. The Aerial Rider Grizzly benefits from puncture-resistant tires and the industry's leading dual suspension. This Scrambler e-bike was designed to carry two, so the elongated seat and passenger foot pegs are in place. Lastly, Aerial Rider installed a built-in brake light, backlit colored LED display with an easy diagnostic tool and a light sensor. If you're a fan of bicycles and minibikes that were popular in the 70s of the last century, Rough Cycles has a great lineup of retro-inspired models. The Little Buddy is one of their most noteworthy models. We strongly encourage you not to be fooled by its name. Little Buddy is a regular-sized fat bike that towers over the competition due to the use of high-quality middle-mounted motor rather than a wheel hub one. The e-bike is based on a hand-welded steel frame with powder coating, has seats made of genuine leather, and reliable batteries from Active and Performance CX lines. With the Little Buddy, your way can be lit with optional Supernova rear and front lights, and 20 by 4 inch Kenda tires are always there to provide solid grip of the road. The case for a Little Buddy is simple. A small package contains much more than one could ever expect. The world of light electric vehicles is truly amazing. In the past, we've been introduced to electric bike models that look like an average bicycle but possess motorcycle-like specifications and top speeds. However, when it comes to the new Beachman 64 model, situation is quite opposite. With an electric motor that was limited to just 500 watts of power, this two-wheeler looks like a classic cafe racer but actually performs like a class two electric bicycle. It has a set of folding pedals that are to be mainly used when you have little to no charge left. Speaking of the charge, the bike's 40 amp hour battery can let you ride for up to 55 miles. Please note that the top speed of this two-wheeler has been restricted to the class two level, which is just 20 miles per hour. Since this e-bike has room for two passengers, the restricted performance may not be appealing to all potential buyers. That's why the manufacturer is planning on releasing a version of the Beachman 64 that's capable of moped-like performance. This electric moped will have no pedals, be able to accelerate to 37 miles per hour, and will require a corresponding license.
At first glance, FAT4 products look very similar to other electric mopeds out there. Classic design elements, fat tires, high handlebars, and an elongated leather seat. They have everything we expect from models representing this class. However, there are some things that can prompt you to pick these very e-bikes over the offerings by competitors. Fat 4 bikes are known to provide such competitive advantages. All bikes are manufactured in the Netherlands. There are two frame designs available. One of them was specially developed to cater to the needs of taller riders. A variety of add-on elements that will let you adjust the ride according to your needs. There's also an attention-grabbing sidecar accessory that you have to check out. All FAT4 models are powered by a 250-watt motor that's used for electric pedal assist. The motor guarantees the 15-mile-an-hour top speed capabilities. The second component of the powertrain duo can be either represented by a 470 or 630-watt-hour battery unit. With a 630-watt-hour setup, this bike offers up to 40 miles of riding. The batteries can also be removed for your charging convenience. Despite being suitable for city commuting and grocery shopping, these bikes are equipped with beefed-up suspensions and hydraulic fork. Such components make these two-wheelers suitable for fun getaways to the nearest dirt trail. Designed with stylish and authentic personalities, combining tradition with modern touches in mind, the Biggie by Rough Cycles merges design, fun, and function in order to become a perfect everyday companion for exploring urban areas. Available with 24 or 26 inch double walled aluminum wheels, the Biggie moped style bike can be powered by either an active or performance CX drive unit by Bosch. The former offers up to 29.5 pound-feet of torque, while the latter has the torque rated at 62 pound-feet. Please note that models sold in the EU will come with a top speed limiter set at 15 miles an hour. Just like with wheels and motor units, you'll be offered two battery pack options. These are the 300 and 500 watt hour units that will be integrated into the leather seat bench. The model also features a hydraulic disc brake offering that provide greater power control and modulation both on the road and on the trail. There's also a special hub shifting system that allows users to change gears in one continuous motion. The Biggie will be available for purchase the next year with the price in the 3000 euro range, a fair price for a handcrafted e-bike made with German quality and top tier components. We would really like to hear your opinion about the lineup in the comments section. Don't forget to mention other exciting models that we may have missed. Rate the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. More exciting EV content is on the screen. Just follow the links. See you soon.